Now, are you aware of union clause? How does it work? Yeah, from both table, uh, without duplicates, it will append all that. Okay, and what if I need duplicates? Union all. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. So, yeah. I think we are, so Pratiksha just to be on the same page. Uh, let's say you have two tables. So the first requirement of doing the union of two tables is you need to have the same number of attribute with the same data type in both the tables. So let's say your first table has 10 attributes and your second table has five attributes. Then you cannot do a select star union from first table, uh, select star from first table union select star from second table, it will give you an error. I'll, I'll show you. So let's take select star from product and let's union it with select star from product category. All queries combined using a union intersector operator must have an equal number of expression in their target list. Correct. Now, instead, what I can do is, let's take something which is existing in both the tables, uh, product category ID, right? Product category ID is in both the tables. Let's take product category ID. Now let's see if this works or not. It does. But as uh, Mayanka said that it does not repeat. Now I want duplicates also like reports from both the tables. So earlier when we don't need duplicates, it is showcasing us 41 records. Now let's see how many records it will show. So it is showing us three, three, six. By default, a distinct is applied when we do a union. Whereas when we do a union all, the distinct is removed and we get all the records with their number of occurrences as they are occurring in our table. Now, what if I would like to do a union of product ID with product category? Mayan, can you tell me would it work or not? No, I think it's uh, different. So. Sorry, my bad. So actually, it would work. I'll show you. So, uh, compiler is not intelligent oh, yeah. enough to mm -hmm. recognize that these are different attributes for him. What he will see is that both the statements have one column. Yeah. Both the state, both the columns have int data type. So what it does is it tries to union it. It's, it's not smart enough to check like whether these are different attributes or not, but what if we do with this, let's go with this. Sorry. Now what happened is since name, name is of n varicare data type and product category is of different data type, it's not able to join them. So it's smart enough to tell you this much that the column that you're trying to union have different data types, but it is not smart enough to tell you this much that they are two different data types and you should not union. The way earlier we showcased like product ID and product category ID are two different columns, have two different meaning, have two different aspects to it, but it's not able to recognize that because they have the same data type. But when we are trying to get a union a product category ID with the product name, 
it is smart enough to tell us that since they they, they do have a different data types so certainly you cannot do a union of these okay yeah. any doubts here i i mean i can do a union of product name with a product category name and that should work just fine i'll show you so it's not able to understand the context it's still able to identify using the data type that what we are doing is right or wrong okay uh let's move on to the next one so, i mean you can still yeah please go ahead yeah in joins i have uh, one question like sure. let's suppose we have two tables and in both the table we have 10 10 record right okay so, uh, in all the join in best and worst scenario uh what will be how we can find the minimum and the maximum that can i don't think so i get your question properly okay. can you come again ha ah, right right so let's suppose uh, we have two table table a and table b correct in both the table we have 10 10 record right perfect and, right. and uh, uh, in all the joining condition uh in best and the worst scenario uh, like let's suppose in best uh like what's the minimum and the maximum row will get when we are let's suppose when we are doing inner join in best scenario right then in best scenario it can be the case that all all uh, uh key are matching then we'll get maximum 10 records right correct Does it makes sense but yeah, no yeah. no make makes sense makes sense but the thing is there are different types of join available right right, right. but if i do a cross join then 10 cross 10 would be the result ha huh. yeah because this so, is this was this was one of the questions uh, i think i faced during one of the interview so, perfect perfect i can i can help you answer that so what you can do is in in every scenario every possible scenario cross join will give you the maximum result yeah by default yeah cross join wins over any other join Mm-hmm. After cross join comes the next best join we have is full outer join because it will give you the result from both the tables everything. Mm-hmm. Right. And then after that, uh, the best case is left or right join depending upon the table size. Yeah. The so the two tables that you are joining, if they both have the same rows, then left and right join are going to give you the same kind of result. Hmm. And then. Worst case scenario with the minimum number of rows would be the inner join because that will give you the common numbers only. Now let's see if these two tables are totally different. Mm-hmm. Then inner join will give you zero. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Now I'll tell you the worst. Uh, this was the worst case scenario we were going on. Now mm-hmm. I mean worst, but the best. In yeah. Worst, but is the best uh, best case scenario. Now let's talk talk about the best case scenario, and let's start with the opposite way. Let's let's say both we have two tables. Both the tables have ten rows, and both the tables have all the keys matching. Now your inner join will return ten. Yeah. This will become same as your left or right join. Correct. Now when yeah. you do a full outer join, it will become same because all the keys are matching. Yeah, yeah. So your inner, left, right, and full all mm. are same. Yeah. But cross join will still give you the maximum number ten right. cross. Right. Right. Okay. Right. right. I, I I do understand. Like, uh, in even the college placements or some online tests, you might get these kind of questions. Yeah. So I would like to have these concepts clear to both of you, and I mean to everyone. So, do you have still have any other doubts, Pratiksha? No. Uh, you're clear, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Mayank, any questions? No, no. Yes, all no. all clear, right? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. so we are clear about union right and we are clear about union all any doubts related to union or union all any any case scenario you would like to discuss okay uh, if you don't have anything i'll ask you this can i do a union all thing without using a union all i mean i would like to use a union but i would like to get a result of union all is that possible without using union all just by using union can i get the union all result distinct we can 
no 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 so mm-hmm. in your null will return the redundant values as well right yeah so can i can i get union all result by using union no <laughs> just to hear the same page yeah because just just, just to make you uh, uh, give you a better understanding so union is a subset of union all right because union is giving you a distinct and union all is giving you all the occurrences uh, i mean uh, irrespective of how many times they are occurring in that particular table correct yes. it will give you the duplicate values as well so union all becomes the superset union becomes the subset of it so you cannot get union all by using union but is there a possibility where union all and union will return the same result if we don't have duplicates correct perfect perfect that's the perfect understanding now uh, give me a scenario where you would like to use this where condition with these two tables while doing a union by doing a union while while doing a union okay. why would you put a where condition Mm-hmm. Let's suppose if you want to filter a uh, certain condition. Mm-hmm. I mean that's that's correct. I think you are not able to give the example, right? Yeah. So. Mm, yeah. In example will be like. Uh, uh let's suppose for dep- uh, i want to filter only for uh, department uh, finance department right okay and then then the first con- first i will filter where department is this finance right from okay. the first, first condition and the f- and second i let's suppose i want to filter for other department and i will i want to uh, append those in one table then then we can do that is that an optimal solution to get that result that i'm not sure yeah. i'll tell you no no you gave a good example so like any other programming language there are multiple ways to do a same thing but what we need to do is what we need to go for is an optimal solution also right mm. so since we have studied join let's play with the data so let's say select start from this table and let's name it as p and let's do a join with product category let's name it as pc on p dot product category id equals pc dot product category id now what we would like to get is p dot product id p dot Name. Let's do it as product name, and we would need PC dot product category ID and name. let's see how this looks like perfect correct now what i'll do is we'll create a complex game 
will take distinct. Then what we'll do, we will put a where clause and we'll filter on I'll take it from here. Now, can someone explain me what, what this particular result set is showing us? Sorry. Uh, what, what is this query exactly giving us? No worries, I'll let me explain you. What we are trying to do here is we are trying to get distinct product ID, product name, and product category ID and product category name from product and product category table while we are joining on the basis of product category ID. And we have filtered only for product category name mountain bikes. Basically, we are getting a different distinct product ID name and product category ID and name for product category name mountain bikes. Now, was this really required? I mean, this is a redundant column, right? Product category ID and name, because since we are filtering only for one specific category, right? Mm. So we will remove it, but after going through an, another example, uh, let's, let's just execute this much and take another category of road bikes. Okay. Now let's put this. Now we are getting all the product ID, product name, product category ID and name as bikes. So now since we are filtering for road bikes and mountain bikes, uh, we don't specifically need this, but let's, let's keep it because what I'm going to do is now, as Mayank has told me that what we can do is that we can select list of employees for finance department and then list of employees for some other department and then do a union and then we can get a list together. Correct. That's what you were saying. Mayank, yeah, right? right, right, right. So now I will do a union and it will, this will give me the result. Perfect. Yeah. What if now this is the this is what you were talking about, correct? Mm -hmm. Now what I was asking you is this an optimal approach? Yeah, we can do directly in the join itself. What we can do in the join itself? Uh yeah, so here we are filtering and then we are appending. I think it's costlier operation and it will take some time, right? Okay. So because we need uh, basically two product category, right? One is mountain bikes and one is road, road bikes. Road bikes. Right? Correct. So there only we can uh, filter where uh, mountain bike, basically two wear condition uh, in where we can put two condition. Perfect. Perfect. That's what I was talking about. So instead of doing this union way, what we will do is we'll take this particular statement and all we're going to do is write it here, go to where clause write an in clause and just simply add this and we will have the same result. How many rows we have? 75, right? And let's check for union. How many do we have? 75. Same data set, everything same, but there are multiple ways to do it. Uh, Pratiksha, which one would you prefer? Union one or this one? Uh, yeah, second one. Second one, okay. Now, the thing is, the reason we use union is, sometimes you would like to operate differently. I'll, I'll tell you why. So now what uh, uh, my uncle told me, that Shumam, what I want to do is, I would like to have a separate column 
called as cost where that cost should be 100 for mountain bike and that cost should be 200 for road bikes okay so you are getting now 200 100 respectively correct yes. would we be would we will be able to do this here like can i apply two distinct costs to these products here Mayank. Uh, no, no. So actually we can, but we will learn at the later stage. So there is a statement called case statement where we can provide this conditional thing. But yeah, what I was trying to tell you is that there are different usage of these doing the using, using these different techniques. So you find it easier, right? To put these different costs for different products in the, in, in case of union as compared to this particular situation, right? Make sense. Yeah. Awesome. So just remember that both the ways have their pros and cons. Both the ways are replaceable with each other. Both the ways can be used interchangeably, but it's just we need to showcase uh, what we need to use at what particular point of time and the why. Always remember that. By in, during the interviews also, interview gives you a scenario. You choose to do it a certain way always be prepared with the answer why you chose this way over any other way if at all you can remember it is possible so let's say i gave you a scenario and you can do it using two ways always choose an optimal way and be prepared with the reason that why you chose this way over the other one okay do not plainly go with the gut feeling like this is the easier way i'm confident about it let's go with it no think through it find the optimal way, find the reasoning behind it. Why should I go behind this, this particular approach? Then only implement it because that is the next question of the interview is going to be like, why you choose this way over the other one or why didn't you do it any other?